This is Andrew Stotts of A. Stotts Investment Research. And I am coming to you with this product that I always look at about the markets. And it's called Watching the Street. For Thailand, of course, I'm looking at the behavior of analysts. For those of you that know, my dissertation for my PhD was related to the performance of analysts in their EPS forecasts. And the performance was about was always optimistic. Now let's get into it and see what we can find. The first thing is you can see this chart. And this page I'm looking at recommendation. This is a consensus recommendation from bottom-up perspective looking at Thailand. And in that chart we can see where analysts are ranking Thailand. Now, analysts have had positive recommendations on Thailand for five years, and it's currently a buy in Asia, according to this bottom-up analysis. The next thing is the bullish... Now, let's look at some of the companies. So, these are the companies with the most positive recommendation. The first one is Thai Food Group. Thai Foods Group. Then it's Unique Engineering, Plan B, Beauty, and BTS Group Holdings. This is where analysts have the strongest recommendations. The bullish view on TFG is based on expectations of high chicken and alive pig prices, as well as TFG's ability to increase its sales volume. Now, let's look at the other side, where companies with the most negative recommendations, that's Thai Vegetable Oil, Delta Electronics, Jasmine, BEC World, VGA Global Media. Now, analysts are pessimistic about TVO as imported cheap Soybean meal from Argentina is putting pressure on TVO and its gross margins. So now we can see analysts are very optimistic in their consensus recommendation, but that's been the case for a long time. Let's move on to consensus earnings estimates. And here we can see the chart that I always put together. The red bar is the consensus estimate of one year forward earnings. And the first thing you can see is that the actual earnings, the bar, never reaches the analyst forecast. This is part of my results from my research that show that analysts are eternally optimistic. So, as we can see, the last in 2016, the forecast was 10 and the actual result was only a couple percent. And we can see in uh, 2017, the current forecast is 9. So if we look at EPS growth for Thailand, it could be that it's close to 0 or maybe 1 or 2% based upon this. The current EPS growth estimate is the lowest in 5 years and down from 10% in December 2016. Now, companies with the highest consensus EPS growth estimates are listed below. That's Citrang Agro, Banpu, Italian Thai, Jasmine, and Workpoint. Analysts believe the rubber industry is entering a new cycle and expects STA to turn its highest net profit since 2013 from a net loss in 2016. So it's a turnaround. Now, the companies with the lowest EPS growth estimates are Indorama Ventures, InTouch, and Thai Oil, Esso, and Star Petroleum. So we can see a lot of petro, petro and uh, oil price related uh, items here. Now, consensus expects the fall in EPS growth for IVL uh, is actually due to a high base in the prior period because the company made a bargain purchase that was booked in this same period uh, in 2016. So, basically, there's a base effect for Indorama Ventures. So, it's less of an issue of analysts expecting 30% down. It's just that it would be very hard to beat the exceptional performance that they did last year. Now let's move on to the last thing, which is the target price. We've looked at recommendations. We've looked at earnings forecasts. Let's look at analyst target prices in Thailand. And what we can see is this. Consensus target price expected return versus actual. All right. So we can see that generally the, the expected or estimated upside for Thailand is about 8%. That's been pretty consistent over the years. And what we can see is that there are there's much more volatility in the actual return that happens. So very little relationship in some cases. Now, the 12-month forward expected return is now at 8% versus 10% in December 2016. And this is the last time that we looked at this. And that's explained by a slight gain of the SET, the set index, since then. Now, the companies with the highest consensus target prices 
uh, expected return. In line with the expected turnaround and growth in EPS, STA also has among the highest consensus target price expected return. Also, TICOM, CPF, and BCH. Now, the companies with lowest consensus target price expected return, here we have it. Analysts, uh, Jasmine, BEC World, Delta, Energy Absolute, and Total Access Communication. Analysts are worried about low growth and the proposed asset sales to the Jasmine Infrastructure Fund and think that the current price is way above Jazz's value. Want more research? Well, just sign up for our free newsletter at becomeabetterinvestor.net slash join and I'll see you there. Have a great day.